The time has come. Today is the start of a series called Iron to Immortal, but in an effort to help you guys progress past your respective ranks. The name is Shady. I'm currently sitting at Radiant, so hopefully you guys can learn some of what I'll attempt to teach. I'd like to start with some basic high elo knowledge that everyone should know. 1. Defaulting Defaulting is the zero protocol positioning and control of each map. As you can see, on Ascent, it looks a little something like this. 2A, 1 mid, 2B. 2. Rotation Rotation is moving from one part of the map to another. If you get a pick on this side of the map, it will draw a rotation out of the player on this side of the map. 3. Decision making. Decision making is the most vital part of a competitive shooter like Valorant. Both one and two fall under decision making. So to explain them further, I have live examples in real games. To clear up some confusion on what I mean by Iron to Immortal, Iron to Immortal is a video series I'm making to help players pass their ranks in a tutorial manner. This account is actually Silver One, but don't worry, all the advice and tips follow through all the way up into Immortal. Without further ado, let's find a game and talk agents. So we have Duelist. They incentivize you to peek more, therefore leading you to more gunfighting experience, which is good. Recommended. Next up are Sentinels. They decrease your responsibility in taking gunfights, meaning you put more responsibility on your teammates to win theirs. This is bad for climbing, but great in a team environment. So I don't recommend you play any Sentinels not recommended. Controllers, my personal favorite, similar to Sentinels but have more flexibility in playstyle and have big shoes to fill at all times in game, meaning they're viable and extremely good if used correctly. Recommended. Lastly, we have Initiators. Initiators are very good at reactionary gameplay. Someone who has a passive playstyle will thrive on an Initiator. I personally don't recommend them, but they're still viable. 50-50. Match found. All right, we found a game. So uh, I think I'm gonna be playing a duelist like uh, Phoenix. Take a seat. I As I said previously, duelists incentivize you to peek more. So that's exactly what I'll be doing in this game. I'll be peeking and explaining why I'm peeking certain things. Okay, so to start the game, it looks like we're playing five duelists on Haven, uh, <laughs> which is interesting. It's definitely a silver tactic I've never seen. Um, so first things first, I think I'll buy armor and uh, I'll purchase two flashes and we'll head over towards garage. It looks like my teammates are preparing to go hit A or B. Um, I will try to work apart this side of the map. No charges left. One enemy remaining. Careful now. All right, essentially the molly I threw at doors was to stop any potential peek from the enemy Then allowing me to get close enough to th toss a flash and blinding anyone that's potentially holding a close angle um, This looks like a buy round. I'm sitting at 5,000. I potentially can buy Next yeah next round two if I full buy here. I'll attempt the same pistol round strat that I did earlier so close is clear, nothing in the window. He's sitting behind the box. I have my ult. Killjoy normally plays C, so I'm jumping up into window, expecting someone there. It was safe. I'm gonna do uh, a B strat. I'm gonna Molly Door, similar to all the other rounds, but this time Sage is now playing Garage. Phoenix is top B. He's right side, he attempts flashing. I turn flash. I'm gonna throw a wall in there. I'm not sure what I'm hearing there. Is that? Oh, that is That's dumb. done. Killjoy was here. Okay, so I think Killjoy all rotated through there. Yeah. What the fuck? I think I'm gonna go towards Joke's A this over. round. You're Phoenix dead. popped his ult. He normally plays mid, so I'm gonna avoid uh, peeking mid. I'm gonna flash long to clear out long. It doesn't look like there's anything there. Now I'm gonna peek short. Looks like my team is also positioning to follow me up A. Playing close Back angles up. as I slowly work up. Killjoy is now playing A. It looks like they're being proactive and switching their setups. Killjoy pops a molly. Pops another molly. She could be playing close, but she is. She's playing somewhere around here. I'm going to flash through this slope. 
engineers down. Molly heaven to potentially help anyone that's trying to plant. Phoenix could be close trying to flash, so I'm gonna molly this wall and walk close. Get out of my way! Phoenix is heaven. There's one CT, one heaven. Jet just dashed in. Healers down. One enemy remaining. And Phoenix should be heaven. I have my molly again, I'm gonna re-molly it. He should be healing off that, maybe dying from this. No, it doesn't look like it. So I think he might be walking around to try to save. Yes, That's it. Yes, he was. I'm positioning myself to grab my ult this round, as I would as, at high elo. Uh, it's you best to ask a teammate to smoke for you to grab uh, an orb. On Haven, it's most likely going to be the sea orb since it's the closest here. But uh, since we have no smokes, I'm just going to have to swing it like a madman. Kill that turret. Hold for any backside peaks. Tap orb to see. Killjoy is willing to expose herself, which she's not. She typically plays back sight, and Jet's also there, so that's unusual, yeah. Um, she's ending up playing back sight again. Um, we get bombed down. I'm going to look for any A flanks, potentially mid flanks too. So sometimes you just have to take the lurk roll and position yourself to hold flank. Um, it doesn't always net you kills, but it is a team responsibility that you have to be looking out for. All right, we're moving on to round eight here. Um, Come on, let's go! So I'm gonna alt up B again. So Killjoy's on the right side. My teammates didn't end up getting a trade. Potentially getting a trade now. You're done. I'm gonna flash into A Link because there's someone here. Uh, a Link's dead now. Sage and Jet are actually both uh, one enemy remaining. C players. So, think. My team's trying to breach C. I'm not there, so things aren't gonna work out. I'll try to lurk the garage a little bit later. Um, there is one garage you just dropped. I'll find it right here. I'll molly garage and hold this. I'll walk up. Don't see anything. Any close right, nothing. Sage is on site. Omen could be CT, but it's unlikely. I feel like he's holding me from CT. Nothing. That yeah, one's back site. Sage could be in that corner. One enemy remaining. So that's Omen dead. And that's Sage dead. Oh, you thought you put up a fight? Phoenix, you're a star. Get it? <laughs> Okay. We're on round number 12. Careful now. So Jet's actually peeking. She just ate a bunch of molly. Essentially, the molly I threw at doors was to stop any potential peek from the enemy. She smoked. She should be sitting in the smoke. No, yes, she does. I have all. I'm Come gonna on, go all go. try to find this player, which she's playing in garage, which is actually a good change. Um, we're planning B even though we have C open, which is fine because Sage normally doesn't play A, she normally plays B. One enemy this remaining. This tells me that she pushed down C or A. I'll flash up this. Oh wow, I accidentally flashed her. Reload. Alright, that was a swift good game. Not bad. Could've done better. A little sloppy. We gained 32 rating rank off that. I'll fight anybody. And we have unlocked Yoru. That's everybody. nice. I think I'm going to use him next game. Alright, that's our first game done. Let's try to get to Silver 2. Queuing up the next game.